on the last episode of What We Know. We talked about everything that was featured on the Ready or Not website, and it was all quite interesting. But now, it's time to move on to DevBlog 1, Teaser and Beyond. On May 4th, 2017, this blog was posted, and on it reads the following. Ready or Not is a tactical first-person shooter which places you in the boots of an elite SWAT team, tasked with defusing hostile situations in intense, claustrophobic environments. It's set in a nondescript modern America, where an income disparity between the classes have become unsustainable and the country has plunged into havoc. Bring order to chaos with up to eight players in cooperative play. Battle enemy squads in a close player versus player environment. Or command AI in a striking single player mode. Ready or Not has been in development since June 12th. 2016. Wait a minute. June 2016? That would mean that the game has only been out for 11 months when the trailer came out. The game wasn't even finished when the trailer came out. That explains everything. A game like this would usually take about 3 to 5 years to create. Like, they probably didn't have enough to actually show us. It's no wonder. No wonder why we haven't seen anything. So as of this video, it is February... 23rd 2018 that would mean that the game has been in development for about a year and eight months so if i'm being honest this game's probably not going to be released until 2019 but hey information between april and june seems more plausible now just because of how long it's been well until then i guess we'll keep reading and includes an array of unique features today we're going to run through the already included features we're most excited about current features include Incremental lean system. Our most prominent feature involves players' ability to maneuver around obstacles, opening up infinite possibilities regarding tactical positions. Players can duck under low cover to avoid oncoming fire, or peek above high cover in order to spot and return fire upon the enemy. The assigned keys can be tapped in any order to peek. On top of this, we have also included a classic quick lean system seen in many shooters. Moving on to the next one, we've got incremental door control system. This gameplay feature allows for doors of multiple types, such as sliding, swinging, and revolving doors, to be manipulated by mouse wheel at any time, provided the door is unlocked. Players can interact and incrementally move them. Riveting. Modular speed control. Our final mouse wheel based feature involves the control of the player's speed by scrolling up or down. This allows for precise movement in a close quarters environment, which may mean the difference between life and death in a hostile situation. This, of course, can be rebound to suit our user's needs. Simulated and detailed third person inventory. In a real life situation, each item has its place in a loadout. We wanted to ensure this level of replication, so we included detailed animations and systems which show your teammates exactly what you're doing. Magazines, grenades, and items are retrieved and returned to their specific pouches, with the pouch flaps opening and closing in syn syn synchronic. What the fuck? Synchronicity. Syn Synchronicity. Syn syn Synchronicity. Synchronicity. Synchro synchronicity Syn synchronicity stop synchronicity with the other players reload or draw respectively convex collision armor allowing for precise protection armor collision and ready or not is calculated based on the mesh coverage on the player allowing for accurate levels of realistic ballistic protection projectile dynamics bullets penetrate ricochet and deteriorate rounds have a realistic range drag and tumble velocity calibers and ammunition types affect how far and how well a projectiles penetrate and exit all rounds have the ability to ricochet based on surface materials and angles of impact, and deflection has recently been included as a feature. Less than lethal rounds will be unlikely to penetrate, but can sometimes still kill depending on the proximity and impact area. Responsive damage system and effects. If a player is shot in the legs, movement is slowed down based on the level of damage. Arm damage will decrease accuracy and increase draw times. Head damage, provided it is survived, can intermittently haze the player's vision. This is all shown via a passive read hidden unless needed indicator at the bottom of the screen. 
Visceral gore. Deaths need to be impactful to the end user, and we're committed to providing an experience like no other. If characters in the game are hit, parallax bullet holes spawn on flesh, and blood will seep out into surrounding fabrics. A gory bullet hole also becomes an emitter, as individuals who knock their wounds onto great objects create a smaller spatter based on bone velocity. In the future, we plan to implement an entire bodily destruction system. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Highly detailed weapons, characters, and environments. As seen in our gallery and teaser, Ready or Not's assets aren't camera shy. A realistic and high detailed representation of all assets is necessary to immersing the player in our world. Weapon edges are smooth and seamless. Environmental detail is minute. Massive selection of items. As a pre-alpha, we currently have over 30 plus items in total, with plans to greatly expand the selection monthly. Concerns may arise over balance issues, but each item will have its place and value considered in order to avoid having duplicate functioning but visually different. Gear. These items include weapons, devices, grenades, and deployable items. Read. Items that can be selected in our planning phase. Fully supported competitive servers based on Amazon GameLift API. Ready or not features a fully competitive set of game modes to test your metal against other squads in PvP. However, players can still host listen servers and play with custom game rules. Plans to support squad competitive play. Create a squad with up to 10 friends for PvP and co-op. Work as a small group to reap squad rewards and compete in yearly leaderboard competitions to earn unique skins. A passive point score system allows players to work together to level and earn more squad points. Opening up options in missions planning phase. Tactical analysis. All missions begin with a tactical analysis and planning phase, currently allowing teams to shut off power grids blockade entrances, create or choose new entry points, and spawn unique devices, including ballistic shields, heavy rams, and telescopic ladders. We hope you stick with us through our journey in making a true-to-life tactical shooter that can be held up to the greats. We're excited to share our work over the course of this year. For those who haven't seen it, here's our reveal. Now, of course, he's talking about this trailer right here. We've already seen it. We already know what it looks like, but I want to make a video on, uh, you know, analyzing it just to see what's actually in there. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the next video. I'm going to be doing these every Friday until uh, we get more content. Um, so I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.